everyone and welcome to Sebastian's Nectary. Today I am going to do a tour of this room and basically just explain to you all the different components and why they're decorated the way that they are, where I got everything from, how efficient everything actually is. I'll go into detail with some of my organizational ideas and how I implemented them within the room. And then just basically do what most people do within a nursery tour, you know? Yeah. When I was pregnant, I used to love watching these videos. I would just watch over and over and over, so many different ones. I was minorly obsessed. So it is very exciting for me now to be able to be filming my own. Uh, you know, I got so many ideas and inspiration and just general, you know, motivation to do this when I watch those videos. So I hope that you guys enjoy this one and let's just jump right into it. So this is Sebastian's crib. Um, the crib was actually given to me by my parents for Christmas, the Christmas after we thought I was pregnant. I hadn't had the baby yet, but this is my Christmas gift and it is beautiful. I don't know exactly where she got it from, my mom, but I'll ask her and then I'll link in the description below if you're interested in this design, which is just perfect for this room. This mobile uh, was given to me by Baby Shower. It's part of a larger set of sheets and curtains and wall decorations and stuff like that. Not all of which I've used, but I really like the mobile, so the mobile stays. So if, uh, if you can see into the crib here, but I have just basic sheets and blankets and toys. Um, I try not to keep too much in the crib because it's but he's a pretty self-sufficient baby. He has had no breathing problems ever. He's got very good neck strength. I'm not too concerned about his inability to um, breathe, even with things in the crib. But even so, I try and keep what's in there to a minimum. So I have a few blankets just because it's cold right now, and the sheets, obviously. And I have some toys in here because oftentimes he'll wake up before me or he'll wake up in the middle of his nap and he loves to play. So he has all of his friends here um, for him to just mess around with while he's still kind of half awake thinking about going back to sleep and oftentimes he'll just put himself back to sleep. But it's nice for him to have some little friends there for him to comfort himself with. And then on the wall surrounding the crib here, I have these little wall decals from Etsy. And I'll link the shop that I got them from down below, but it, they, they're so cool because they literally look like they're, you know, circles of paint just painted onto the wall, but they're not. They're like little stickers. You can peel them off and they're reusable if I ever decide that I don't want them here anymore. I can just put them back on the sheeting that they came on and store them away and put them back up somewhere else at some later point. But for right now, I love them here. I think they're just the perfect pop of color in this room, which is really what I was going for with this whole nursery. It's got a very slight blue theme to it because boy but I'm not huge on gender stereotypes. So while the walls are white with a tint of blue, I really try to make everything else be colorful so that it's just you know, a little bit more fluid in colors. I want him to see everything. I want him to grow up knowing all of these colors and relating to all of these colors because color plays a huge role in my life and I want it to play a huge role in his as well. So it was important to me that it's decorated with a lot of colors, and so these wall decals just were perfect for that. So there they are, and it's a funny story actually. So I'm in labor, and I'm realizing I have not put my wall decals up yet. The rest of the nursery was pretty much all put together, but these wall decals were not up yet. And ah, I cannot bring the child home without his wall decals. It was a very silly thing for me to be focusing on in that moment, but I was panicking because I was having a baby, so. This was the most important thing to me before I went to the hospital and actually had the baby, so I'm having contractions and sticking these stickers up on the wall. And I think they look pretty good for being put up in a moment of extreme labor pain. 
I don't know. And you, you can decide for yourself on that point. So yeah, that's his crib area. I've got a bunch of stuff, you know, kind of stuffed under the crib, like extra diapers and extra toys and extra books, but we don't really need to get all into that. Yeah. Over here I have Sebastian's dresser. And here I keep his socks. Bit of a mess. In here, I keep all of his shoes. Um, the ones I don't really put on him that much, and once he's outgrown, some uh, little baby sunglasses. They go in here. Yeah. So these are two very small drawers, so there's not a whole lot I can put in them, but they're perfect for his socks because socks, big socks, are tiny. In this drawer, I have all of his pants organized by what they are and by color. So we have uh, khakis and sweatpants and sleeping pants and jeans and corduroys and just everything. So that is all going in here and having everything organized by color and by category makes it really easy for me to just like go in and like pick out what I'm looking for in an outfit because I really like to dress this child efficiently. So that's a really good way to organize for me. This drawer is broken, so I don't touch it. This drawer is all of his t-shirts and long sleeve shirts, but not one of these, just the ones that cut off right here. So it's organized again by what they are. So we've got the long sleeve shirts right here. We've got the short sleeve shirts right next to it, organized by color. And then actually next to that, I have all of his shorts, which he isn't really wearing right now because it's November, but he has them here in case it, there's a sudden burst of heat in the world. They're right here for him. Hi, Bash. Wanna go look at your shorts? Oh, you gonna close the drawer for me? No, let's close it. Come on. All right, and then, I don't get to see anymore, but this last drawer is all of his onesies. So it's, um, again, organized by what they are and what color they are. For the most part, this drawer's a little messier than the other ones, but I really like white onesies to put under his outfit, so those are all kind of separated out from the rest of them. And if I change my mind and I want a more colorful one, I've got a few options of that in there. And it just makes it really easy for me to be able to, again, pick out what I need. So up on top of Sebastian's dresser, again, we have all of the stuffed animals. Excuse me? <laughs> he loves all these guys, but we can't always like have them all over the ground. And stuffed animals are kind of chunky and take up a lot of space in the basket, so I just, you know, display them all up here. I have the, not the Lord's Prayer, so now I lay me down to sleep, saying, you know. Um, and this used to be my father's, and he gave it to, I think we all had it in my, in our rooms at one point. I think I had it, my brothers both had it, but now it's fashion sits in his room and looks over him. So the toys kind of surround that, and then I have a little candle right here that makes the room smell nice. I don't light it all the time, and obviously not when he's alone in here, but it gets, you know, it smells like baby sometimes, so it's nice to have a little candle to change things up, and it's a really pleasant smell. And then I have his most gone to baby shoes just up here for the most accessible use because I don't really have room for them in here and it's a pain sometimes to open the drawer to get them so they all sit right here so I can just grab them easily and that's nice. I like that. Over here I have his necessities organizer. So in here we have all of his like towels and robes and bath mats and you know all the things that I use in the bathroom for him which is very useful. In here I have diapers. This drawer is actually more the diapers I don't use as often because they don't last as long. This child pees a lot and he needs the long lasting diapers and these, these don't last long. So these are kind of like, I have no choice diapers. So I don't really touch this drawer very often. This 
is the drawer of long-lasting diapers. And obviously I take from here more. Um, in here, I have extra formula. I have like, this is like health cream powder from Ecuador. So yeah, I have a bunch of like little health things in here. So we have like one of these. We have nail clippers, we have extra teethers. We've got two little baskets in here just full of those. I've got some of the swim diapers, just stuff back there that we're not really using because again, it's November, but on the off chance that we decide to go swimming at some point. There are some swim diapers in here, left over, and then all of his bibs are right here in the front, which makes oh, fashion. <laughs> which makes it useful for me to just grab. And yeah, that's a bit of a miscellaneous drawer because there's no like rhyme or reason to what exactly is going into it. You know, we've got swim diapers and formula and bibs and you know health products, but it's nice to have all the miscellaneous stuff put in one category because then I don't have to be looking for it everywhere else. You know. And then in here I have swaddling blankets, which I sadly don't use as much anymore. I was gifted a lot, and I kind of took it a lot from the hospital. <laughs> and when he was younger until at least two months old we swaddled this baby all the time but we don't really anymore and i can't really bear to get rid of them because i have such sweet memories of swaddling him up and i just can't get rid of them so this is kind of a useless drawer because we hate to swaddle now <laughs> and i never touch them but they're they're not going anywhere because i have an emotional attachment and then this last drawer that he loves to get into because it's at his level and he can pull it open very easily and take everything out of it is his hat drawer. I'm not even going to bother bending down and opening it because he won't be able to see it, but yeah, it just keeps all his hats in there and it's really nice to have them in all one concise location because baby hats are so easy to lose, they're so little and they pull them off and it's like baby socks, baby socks and baby hats, you just, you can't keep a hold on them. So yeah, just have them all in one drawer. Actually, that drawer is also holding all of his swim trunks right now because it doesn't really make sense for me to put them in here in an easily accessible location because he's not gonna be wearing them. So there are some like the swim diapers are just kind of stuffed in the back of the hat drawer, whatever. And then this mirror over here used to be in our downstairs bathroom and then was just kind of not touched for a while, but now it's sits in here in Sebastian's room and it, it goes perfectly in here. I've got this little pom-pom garland from Target and it adds that little pop of color, you know, that I love right here. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this setup. It's nice to, you know, come in and we say hello to the baby in the morning. Say hello, baby. Hello, baby. Okay. I like this. So this is Sebastian's basket of cleaning supply stuff. These are wipes and changing pads underneath. This is carpet cleaner for the stains I get on it. That's baby powder. Those are all his soaps. Uh, this is sunscreen, I believe. Oh, hi, Bash. Yeah, sunscreen. And then this is some A&D ointment. Probably need some more on that note. Uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> and this is some massage oil and some butt paste. But up here we have a lot of like extra blankets, extra sheets. Those are like all of his linen, so I just keep in these two baskets right here. These are all of his CDs. I am very big on having him listen to music and stories at night. I think that's important for his development and to hear voices and to hear music. So these are all of the CDs that I actually used to listen to when I was growing up. And I've got my CD player over in this area. His CDs are all kept here. And I've got a little mousy here. And I've got a little family here. It's you. It's you. And then up here, these are toys for him to grow into. They're not really ones that he's old enough for yet. And then I was gifted two of the same giraffe. So they sit up here next to a basket. Um, I've got a picture of Grandpa and Uncle looking down on us, chilling right there. This, there's a word for this, and I can't think of it right now. Bunting? Is it hunting? 
garland banner whatever this um was given to me by my aunt and uncle in manchester um homemade i believe and it's beautiful and so cute so i when it was given to me i knew the perfect place for it i thought it was just you know that whole color thing just fit in so perfectly right here and then up here i have a bunch of extra books I have his little hat sitting right here, which sadly he's outgrown. What do you think? What do you think? It kept getting unraveled along the edges, but I couldn't like bear to retire it, so I kept sewing it up. You now it looks, it looks like it's been sewn up. You know, <laughs> it's seen some, some things. And then over here, I have all of the books that we read more. I thrifted at that shelf at a flea market. And it used to be in my art studio, but when my art studio had to be demolished to create this guy's room, I decided to put that shelving in here. And I think it's really lovely. So those are a lot of books that I used to read when I was younger. And then this record right here was given to him by his grandfather, my father. So yeah, that's basically this area of the room. So all of the clothes that Sebastian has to grow into, I keep in the boxes right there behind the door. And then I have his diaper bag, which holds all his essentials hanging on the back of the door. So over here we have his closet space, if you will. One of the biggest problems I ran into when decorating this room um, or organizing this room was that there was no closet space, no closet at all, in fact. So I had to be a little bit innovative so this bookshelf was originally my brother's, I believe, and I decided to just turn the bottom half of it into his closet because he had a lot of hanging clothes that really did need to be hung up and not put into the dresser. So we removed these shelves from the bottom half and we went and got some poles, like wooden rod poles from Home Depot and like little, not hinges per se, but like circular holders for the rods to fit into. And so there's one here and one here, and then we got a bunch of baby hangers from Target, and they fit on there perfectly. So all of his hanging clothes just go on here. I think we have about a hundred hangers, and that's perfect. You know, just enough space. There used to be some organization to the clothes. There really isn't anymore because it's too hard to keep up with, and that's fine. I mean, like I don't mind searching for the extra minute. Everything else is organized, so if this part isn't so much. I can handle it. And then over here, we just have, this really functions more of like a chair side table, but it doubles as storage, <laughs> usefully. We, I have a lot of like, his Halloween costumes in here. Obviously he only wore one for Halloween, since the lion, but we were gifted a bunch. So they all just kind of chill in here for future reference. Extra stuffed animals go <laughs> in this one. And in this one, just extra books. Yeah, so more books, stuffed animals, costumes, you know, it's a bit of a miscellaneous bunch. But this came from Target, um, I spent about $20 on it. And up on top, I have some more books for him. And then we have a little picture of me, and he have a little cross. I'm not particularly religious, but I want to raise him with the option of being, if he so chooses to. So I just keep this in here, this was given to me on my confirmation. So I think it's nice to have that in here. I have a little lamp that doesn't actually work, but looks nice. I don't know why it doesn't work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's a very volatile lamp. And then we have this monitor here, which connects to my room next door. And then we have this glider here, which is in yellow. And again, just the perfect color for this room. This used to be a blanket that my grandmother used with her three children, including my mother. So that sits right here. It's a pretty delicate one, so I don't want to use it too often as an actual blanket, but as a decorative piece, I think it looks beautiful right here on the back of the chair with the pops of yellow and the general colors that go into it. And then I have some of his favorite toys just sitting here, keeping him company when I rock him to sleep or read him a book. So there's Sebastian's toy basket, that's his walker, that's his little toy peg thing that he adores, and his activity center right next to it that he doesn't love so much, but yeah. 
So this concludes Sebastian's nursery tour. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you love this space as much as we do. And please do remember to like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Not